Hello and welcome back. This is Madan. In this video, we are gonna learn how we can integrate Gulp into our MVC demo project. So, at first, let's move to the internet and see what the Gulp actually is. So, I'm gonna type Gulp here. So, I'm gonna type GLP Gulp and let's head over to the Gulp.js website. So the Gulp is a JavaScript automation library and it is used to automate and enhance our workflow, our development workflow. And uh, it has a uh, lots of lots of plugins available and a lot of online resources. And it's pretty easy to learn Gulp to automate our common task. So what we want to do is we want to add Gulp into our project and then later on after we successfully integrated gulp into our project we wanna automate some of our tasks so first first task we wanna automate is once we install package our client side library through npm install that is stored in the node modules and uh, we have configured our uh, asp.net core middleware to sort the files from the node modules by referencing the vendor vendor path but when we publish our application we are not gonna publish the node modules directory because this node modules directory contains lots of lots of files and it is even difficult to find where our actual where our actual package is so what we want to do is we want to copy the our project dependencies from node modules into www root folder from where the ASP.NET Core serves the file to the browser and uh, the dependencies that we are using in our node modules from our node modules are listed in package.json dependency sections so these are the dependencies that are the client side library we are using so once we install Gulp uh, successfully into our project we want to automate uh, the copying of these files from node modules directory into www root directory so let's get started so in order to add gulp into your project at first uh, you are gonna need to install gulp globally into your system so in order to install gulp globally into your system you wanna go to the terminal or the command if you are in windows and what you need to do is you need to give uh, administrative permission sudo so npm install gulp dash cli dash dash glpl global give it a global switch so that the gulp cli will be available to use from any directory inside the terminal or from any application so let's press enter and provide your password login password once you do that it's gonna take some time and reach out to the internet and download the gulp into our system so what we can do is now we can check if the gulp has been successfully installed into our system or not so i'm gonna do gulp dash dash vr version so if you get this version successfully gulp version then you could be confident that the gulp has been successfully installed into your system so let's clear the terminal after you install the gulp globally into your system you need to install the gulp uh, as your project dependencies in order to use gulp in your specific project so let's install gulp locally into our mbc demo project so what i'm gonna do is npm install gulp that's the save that's the since this is development dependency this is only used while we are developing our application not uh, not when we publish our, our uh, not when we publish our application so just give it a depth switch and then it will install the gulp into your project locally and save that under development dependencies so uh, once we install gulp 
if you head over to package.json file then you're gonna see dev dependencies as a gulp so which means we have successfully installed gulp locally into our system if you see some error while installing just ignore this these are not the actual error uh, as long as it says gulp the package has been added and as long as you see this you are good to go so we have installed gulp as a project dependencies as well so once we install the gulp into our project what we need to do in order to add gulp is gulp in our project is we need to create a file called gulp file.js with the exact same name so let's create the file gulp file.js and uh, when we head over to the project and uh, if we see the docs which are the good place to start learning about gulps then all those steps that i did here are also given here so we have created the gulp js file in our project and let's click on get started first and then these are the steps that i did just before in my terminal from my terminal in order to install the gulp and once we do that and uh, we have uh, we and once we create the gulp file.js uh, just copy this script let's copy this from here head over to the project and paste it here and uh, let's change this and just do console.log console.log hello gulp has been integrated into your project so this is just a message and uh, now what this does is this is a node.js file so it requires a gulp and uh, we have already installed the gulp in our project so we can uh, do require gulp and then we can create a task using gulp the task and uh, we need to provide the name of the task and the method um, for this task so when we uh, later on run this task this is gonna call this method and this method uh, what it does is it uh, prints the uh, log message into the console so once we do that we need to head over to the terminal and if we do call and provide the name of the task then we should see our console.log message into the our terminal that means we have successfully integrated gulp into our project and from now here we can start automating our common workflows so in the next video we are gonna implement uh, the uh, task that is gonna copy our node modules uh, depend our uh, project dependencies uh, those files from node modules into www root directory all right that's it for now and thanks for watching i'll see you soon